War Diary Day 503 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Vladimir Putin is in trouble. He's got a huge dilemma, and it's this. He's afraid of creating a Marshal Zhukov. He was, if you remember, the Stalin's general who defeated the Nazis, who got all the way to Berlin. And the moment he did that, Stalin became supremely jealous and also worried about his, his grip on the throne. So Putin, like Stalin, fears a very successful marshal and therefore has appointed a series of numpties to run uh, his war for him. And surprise, surprise, it's not working. So Putin's problem is, without a great marshal capable of thinking for himself, he cannot win the war. But if he appoints a marshal and gives him full confidence, the danger for Putin is he might lose the Kremlin. So which is it, Vladimir Putin? Do you want to win the war? Really? Or do you want to keep hold of the Kremlin? If he wants to win the war, he jeopardizes his control over the Kremlin. If he wants to keep the Kremlin, he jeopardizes victory. His solution for the time being is to shuffle the deck of cards. So that's the reason why he brought in Prigozhin and this crazy piece of news that came out the other day, which is that he met Prigozhin four or five days after the mutiny crumbled. Garasimov, um, who's supposedly in charge of the war, he's popped up looking wounded and broken, as if he'd had a drink or two. Then, of course, um, there is Shoigu, the defence minister. He's been seen wandering around, not very impressive. But Sarovkin, he's kind of all but vanished. What's going on, Vladimir Putin? Oh, and by the way, do fuck off.